Hello, my name is Heidi Barnes and I am with Keysight EDA Simulation Software Tools and today we are going to show you our uh, ADS flagship product for uh, electronic simulation, high frequency simulation and we have a new tool that we've added for 2016 and that is uh, signal integrity and power integrity uh, tools, they're SI Pro and PI Pro that allows you to do EM simulation for uh, these types of applications. And here we're going to show you how this tool brings together these two challenges, signal integrity and power integrity, and lets you uh, uh, and analyze them all in one environment, and then also uh, export the, that EM analysis and bring it directly into a full uh, schematic simulation environment with multiple uh, simulation engines. This uh, signal integrity tool, uh, SI Pro, lets you select, you can import your uh, CAD layout, odb++.brd type uh, files, bring them into this environment, select nets, ports are automatically assigned, and you can define whether you want to do an IR drop for power integrity, uh, an AC analysis to look at PDN impedance for power integrity, and then you can also do uh, SI simulations by selecting signal nets. Uh, in this example I have here, we're looking at a DDR4 board where we select the DQ lines or in the address lines. We can run all of those different EM simulations and then actually bring them into uh, a schematic environment where you can do SI and PI uh, type of co-simulation. If you have been following some of the latest standards, like IBIS uh, standards, there's IBIS 5.0 that includes power aware models. So you can actually bring in the EM models with the parasitics of your printed circuit board and all of the connections and run uh, your transmitter models, your receiver models for DDR that include connections for your EM power distribution uh, network and your VRM uh, voltage regulator modules as well as your signal nets and look at that uh, uh, what is it uh, full simulation environment or full uh, synthesis of your application. One of the things I wanted to bring up was that with this new environment like I was mentioning it uh, does Bring, uh, we're used bringing in an ODB++ file or a, a .brd type CAD file and because of that it brings in all of the nets, all of the components and can automatically assign your ports and greatly simplify the uh, EM setup and analysis there. And then uh, if I move down one other thing I wanted to mention is within our uh, full uh, simulation environment of ADS. We are also bringing in very sophisticated models of the voltage regulator modules so we can bring in a, a state-spaced average model as well as the switching models and do uh, such as harmonic balance to look at switching transients and the ripple on your power distribution network and then and that also ties in, we can tie that more complex VRM model directly with our EM simulation of the printed circuit board. And then finally, we can, we can finally also bring that model in uh, with our IBIS AMI transmitter and receiver models and connect up to do a final full simulation. And the end goal, of course, is to end up with uh, an actual eye diagram of your, your uh, signal lines to see how it, it performs with and without uh, uh, power supply noise.